Now, if you want to composite, again, you in like Photoshop or wherever, you can go through here and export these. You can also use Z plugin, ZBrush to Photoshop. If you click this top button, you can watch a video on how to use it. You can also click through here. It'll give you a little overview on how the Photoshop file is set up. If you're having problems with Photoshop being recognized for the J, JSX file that it uses, go through here. It'll tell you how to fix that. And uh, I think that's it. You can also, under the rendering menu, you can go down here to um, whoop, BPR filters. And now uh, within ZBrush, you can kind of do Photoshop behavior in here. So by, by default, um, every time you hit BPR, these BPR filters are going to be active. Um, if they're, if you don't have BPR, anything you do in here isn't going to show up. Like we're putting noise on there right now, but it's not showing up. You have to hit BPR because these are all post-process. So you're processing your BPR render, and now post-process, these filters are going to show up. So uh, F1 is noise. You can send it to replace, or you can do like a multiply of that noise, and that'll multiply noise through your rendered image. Uh, you can change it from noise to blur, and we can make this back to, let's do try lighten. Um, so now we can kind of blur our image out, and that blur can be based on, um, you know, it's a 50 blur, so we can crank that up to 100. And now it'll blur a little bit more. Uh, you can tell it where to blur. You can tell it if you want it to only blur on the Fresnel or where the shadows are um, or where the shadows aren't. So negative one would be where the shadows aren't. Negative uh, one would be where the shadows are. So it'll mask where the shadow pass went. And then when you hit BPR, it'll blur everything within your shadows. So you can tell exactly where to blur, how much to blur. Uh, you can also stack these effects. So we have blur on F1. If we go to F2, we can say we'll put noise in there. Uh, so now we have blur and noise going at once, so we can hit BPR, and then of course those will show up. Of course you don't have to keep hitting BR, BPR, um, you can just throw it in there. And let's say if we go over here to our shadow, let's say shadow negative one, and we hit BPR. So we can keep stacking these things, we'll throw a, uh, here's a sharpen, and I'm just going to leave the defaults on here. So we can now we can sharpen, and now it's sharpening up. We can set sharpen to 100, and you're going to see it's going to overcrank the sharpening. Uh, we can set sharpen to only be either in the shadows or not in the shadows. So as we change these, you can see when I put it not in the shadows, all of this gets sharpened. If I put it just in the shadows, uh, just in my shadows is getting sharpened. So a lot of really cool post-process stuff you can do in ZBrush. You can posterize in here. Let's change this to like, you can posterize X low, low, posterize. 